Right, I'm just going to do video two for Caboodle kitchen installation. So I did touch it on in my first video. So this one I'll be just talking about installation only. So as I said, step one, get your layout. Step two, go see Bunnings. Step three, get your drawing done on AutoCAD through Bunnings. Step four, get all your behind the wall stuff sorted out and work with electricians and everything else like that um, to get that uh, behind the scenes stuff. So everything will come as a flat pack. Uh, that means every drawer, every panel and everything is in a box. Um, so what you do is just do it, just unpack. What I did was I just brought down all the, all the cabinetry on the ground first and I brought it into a great big pile. So the first thing I built was the corner cabinet. Corner cabinet. Oh, I've got my helper over here. So the first thing I put in was the corner cabinet. Now I just put that in against the wall. Few tricks to that. Make sure that the distance from this wall and this wall is exactly the same. So the corner cabinet can sit a little bit skewy, um, a little bit uneven. So make sure those two ends are even so that when you bring your bench out here and your bench out that way, it ends up being the same. So the corner cabinets are 900, this is a 45, oh, 450 and a 600. The key to making sure that this is even is this has to line up with your cabinets. The cabinets will be the same, the exact same width from this wall through to this pantry panel here. So if you don't get that corner thing right, this panel here will be uneven, okay? So, start from the corner cabinet. First one, second one, third one. Again, just build the skeleton. Don't put all these fancy things on. That's the last job. So, yeah, of course, make sure you remember your um, power to your fridge and water supply to your fridge. Don't forget that, because if you forget that, you're in trouble. So, what I did was build that way, and then I built this way. So build that way, of course you don't have countertops on and all that sort of stuff when you're doing that work. Now this is going fuzzy. Yeah, that's not good. Anyway, we'll see how we go. And that's my PowerPoints. I'm using Clips All Iconic, um, only because it's all programmable in Bluetooth. So. so anyway, so I built that. So once that's all in, what I did was joining them. I used the Bunny Supply screws and I built the um, drawers at the same time. So I put all the cabinets in and then I came back and built all the drawers. Dad. So the drawers are in a different box, by the way. Dad. How many yeah. of these do you need in your kitchen? Um, around about six, yes. Six. Um, so, yeah, obviously the skeleton. Now you've got to join the, two, the cabinets up to each other. The, the screws are provided for that, but the, putting the cabinet against the wall, they are not provided. So you will see there's bolts up the back and bolts up the back, um, not, not bolts, um, screws. So um, you just screw straight to the wall, bang, bang, and you've got these little plastic little um, covers that cover the screws so you don't see them. So once that's been done, you start on your top cabinets. Use stand the stand. Stand the stand. So if you're on your own, now I built this home set on my own with a little bit of help from my friend over here. Um, so, and my daughter. So stand the stand. Now all you do is use one of the drawers. I use the this one here, uh, one of the um, shelves, and I just put it on there. Put stand the stand under here. There's two, and then you just put it up there. Two screws into the back of the wall. One, two. And of course, start from the corner, as you do. Start from the corner, screw, 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 screw. Make sure the corners only just fit in the corner on its own. So that's nice and easy, you can't get that one wrong. So join them up, join them up, join them up, screw them to the wall, very easy. These are cement screws, so it's straight screw. There's no plugs, there's no nothing. They just rock, drill the hole, and then bang, she's done. Um, so I've got soft close hinges. So once that cabinet is all done, you put in that, you then put your pantry in. So this is last. Um, I'm losing light here, unfortunately. 
so I might have to do this again. Oh well. This is um this has got to be last. So as I said on the other video, you've got to do a little bit of customizing. This is 900. This fridge is uh, almost a meter now. So you've got to do a little bit of customizing and trickery. Now this here, you've got a special device that lifts up and holds it up as well. So we chose to put our cutlery cabinet drawers over here and um, we used the center bench design with a um, oven. Now once, once you've got all them built, the center bench just stays on its own. You don't need any extra support for that. And you then put all your kickboards in. The kickboards are pretty easy. You can make sure you have a planer and a good quality um, uh, cutoff saw. Okay. Now the I went with the granite top. The granite bloke did all this. He did this, did this, did this, and then the plumber did all this. Okay. Now I think I'm going to have to redo this video. But anyway, if it works, that's about. Oh, and of course you got to do the range hood. Um, this is straight from Bunnings as well. It just goes through the roof into a one designed for corrugated roofs. Um, make sure you do your LED lighting, all that behind the scenes. Okay? Um, yeah.